I do. Uh, I do. You paid me to say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think you're just wondering why. I want to get started. Thank everybody for making the scene tonight. I appreciate it. And we're going to uh, play uh, first a song, maybe a song that I wrote a long time ago. It's called Old Friends. And it's uh, one of these ones that felt, at the time, it felt comfortable and uh, felt uh, everything was easy and went together just like uh, when you're hanging out with old friends. So, But I don't know if it still feels that way. <laughs> <laughs> 20 years later. Uh, so we'll try it. Uh, right? Is that London? Okay. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs>
fun. <laughs> old friends. So that's like what this group is getting. Hey, getting to be like old friends here. So, so thank you all for for coming. Next song is a more recent composition called Until We Met. And the full title is Until We Met, I Didn't Know I Was Missing You. Oh. <laughs> and it's, um, uh, we'll play it. All right. And, uh, have you got everything? Page six. He's got page six. Page six. <laughs> we only have two, but he goes to six. So it starts, starts with the, uh, the in intro, and then the, that same little interlude will play after the, after the melody. Oh, and at the end. Okay, Glenn? Then? Okay. So I start it. <laughs>
going to play a song that uh, didn't get its title until this afternoon. <laughs> and I don't even know if it's really a good title yet. But uh, it's, um, it's got a, a little poem that goes with it that might be lyrics eventually. I'm going to uh, do a dramatic reading for you. That's it. <laughs> exactly. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Time roll along. Ease my heart, sing your song. Where is yesterday? When is tomorrow? Time <laughs> set me free. In my heart, I still can see beautiful days, beautiful nights, and beautiful love. There we go. And in this tune, uh, oh, we'll just do it the way we do it. Okay. Well, <laughs> I, I, I thought better of it. <laughs> yeah, we'll do it the way we did it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, one, two. One, two, three, four.
I didn't give the title of that. I even though it's a, and it's, and it's after making a joke, after yeah, and it's a, yeah, it's called Na Nature's Way. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's Nature's Way. Yeah, that's the current title of it. Anyway, and also I wanted to say that Tim reminded me when he did that drum roll to get us back into the chorus that it's um, today. If he'd been alive, it'd be Art Blakey's 100th yeah. birthday. Yeah. So this is, um, and probably all my friends know that this piano used to belong to Art Blakey. 
it's, a, it's really a, it's a special honor to Art Blakey, and he's still a he's still a force in everybody who listens to music in their life, and it's a great. He always lifted everybody up whenever he played. Yeah. Great swinging drummer. And, um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all right. So I want to uh, yeah, great to play Art Blakey's piano. This is uh, now we're going to play um, Khalil's song. All right. And the story behind this one is that uh, this is good because it's being recorded and I can send it to my son Quincy. Thank you WCTV8 for showing up and doing all this stuff every time. And yes, yeah, uh, amazing. Uh, we'd be lost without them. WCTV8 is a new rising force in, our, uh, at, in Woodstock, uh, I hope. And it's... Um, so this is going to be sent to my son Quincy, and who's living in Sri Lanka, who has a new uh, grandson that's now about three months old, and this little kid's name is Khalil. So this is uh, Khalil's song. Quincy, yeah. Khalil, let's hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, all right. <laughs> that's Justin Quincy. <laughs> all right. Do dum da dum da dum. One two three. One two three. Thank you. 
Play, uh, now we're going to play uh, 
we play the, actually it's a song I wrote many many years ago actually when I was in college but we've been playing it in a totally different way lately as a group Ooh. thank you okay, I'll just wear this <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll just yeah, I'll take it off and put it in my pocket maybe. Thanks, Karen. Okay. You put it in the pocket. Is it still working, Macy? I'm losing you over here, Sonny. What's going on? All right. <laughs> good. Thank you. <laughs> That's great. No, thank you. So we're going to play this song called Modal Tones that I wrote for a, a friend in uh, college. But we're going to play it, and this will be a, a different kind of tune where we're, each of us is going to play uh, alone, which is something that doesn't often happen in, uh, in group setting. <laughs> but uh, we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> Maybe for good reason, you know. <laughs> Unless you get lost in the tune. Then you're there we, yeah, that, like, yeah. Mm. <laughs>
So this tunes um, we were playing. I, I wrote all these tunes, but it's it's really a, a like a jazz workshop kind of situation where uh, the group um, did all does all the arrangements, and we do it kind of spontaneously as we as we play, and everybody suggests different things, and the, the tune evolves over time, and it didn't arrive with a set way to do it, and it's uh, so I'm really happy about that. That's one of the best features. And, um, uh, but it sounded good. So we've got um, another one we're going to, I was thinking too, it's, uh, if it's long and you're warm, you stand up and get another beer if you want or something. <laughs> or if you want. We can take a, like, a, we're not going to take a break, we're going to play one long set. But uh, feel free to stand up or use the bathroom in the house and uh, you don't have to sit with prisoners. <laughs> so so uh, I've got, uh, the next song I'm going to do is a, uh, uh, it's a, a sea shanty, and it's uh, uh, it came out just a, a month or so ago. And I was in a visiting the beach in in Maine, and I had this uh, dream. And when I woke up from the dream, I saw these uh, manuscript notes on paper, but I didn't, um, which had never happened to me, to me before. And I, but I couldn't remember them, so it was like like an ironic thing. Like there's your revelation, but you can't quite remember it. <laughs> so, it's, so I I had this instrument with me, and I went up in the morning and uh, went out, out into the ocean, and I was like just like you know playing, trying to find that song that was in the dream. And I don't I don't think I really did, but I found something else. <laughs> and that's I've been calling it sea a sea shanty, and looking up a uh, a sea shanty, it's it can be like a, a ballad of the sea, like a, a love lost, or, a, or it can be a work song. A shanty can be like a song you sing to pass the time, like a, while you're on a boat. And it's uh, his potential uh, poem that goes with it, that goes with the song, Love is Gone From Me, My Love's So Far Away. Oops, I got the wrong one. <laughs> That's not it. That's not the one. My love is far away. <laughs> They're all the same, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, I think that's the idea. Uh, she's gone away to sea. We kissed and then we said goodbye, and my heart was gone from me. And then the other one, my love is for, the love is gone from me. My love's so far away. Not even sun, not even rain, nor the tears or the pain can bring her back to me. Well, that's the uh, sea shanty. <laughs> so we're gonna play it and I uh, hope you'll enjoy it as much as I have. Mm -hmm.
Nice solos, everybody. Yeah. The, uh, yeah. No, all right. Yeah. So um, we should. Do uh, you want to play or two more or one more or act ball or? Uh, okay. So we got two more songs left for us. Uh -huh. uh, and. Um, First, first song we're going to do is uh, takes a little explanation. It's called Ekbal after this, uh, I guess, uh, Ekbal Ahmed, who taught philosophy and history and social sciences at uh, Hampshire College, is a Pakistani uh, guy who helped me to understand uh, the moral dimension of politics, which is real sounds a little lavish thing to say, but it's really really true, and his. Uh, <laughs> I felt like this guy Akbal Ahmed was somebody that if you ask him what was going on in uh, East Timor, it was something like that it was like his cousin. And he knew every, like, and if it was in, uh, something in Africa that he, it wasn't just like he knew about it because he read about it or was preparing for a debate or something like that. He really um, had this care and, and knowledge about it. And uh, so I, he's, he's somebody to, to check out. And he's got these great, uh, tapes you can hear, or lectures, Ekbal Ahmed. He talks a lot. He went as a kid, he traveled around with Gandhi and uh, Tagore. So he has all these stories to tell about, about those things that are worth everybody checking out. So I just had to say that. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, uh, so now we're going to play this song I wrote in his honor called Ekbal. I always thought it meant something spelled backwards. I wanted to hold it up to a mirror.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So it was fun. Uh, we got a lot of different times going on in that song. Uh, three and seven and eleven. And, uh, so we got one more to do. And uh, sometimes when we. <laughs> and, uh, let's see. Um, I'll play a song after playing all those things like that. I'll play one called I Miss the Old Days. <laughs> and uh, I Miss the Old Days. I guess everybody could say that sometimes. And uh, this song was, when I was uh, thinking about that song, it's, it's more like it was an old fashioned music. It was. Uh, but uh, has, here we go. All right. <laughs> Prelude. All right. <laughs> two, one, two, three, four.
Thank you. Hey. Thanks for being such a terrific audience, hanging in with us and listening and applauding and smiling and everything. It's really very, it makes me very happy. And uh, so that's all we've got for tonight. But thank you so much. And thank you, WCTV8 Macy, for hanging in and doing the hard work. And, uh, thank you. And, hey. Yeah, thank you, everybody. And it's really fun. It was really fun. Need a break. <laughs> Write some more songs and come back. <laughs> uh, uh, uh.